What's up? What's good? Coming at you with video number two of the day. We've already done the five most dangerous places to do time in Ontario. Now I'm going to tell you the five worst places to do time in Ontario and why. Stay tuned for a great video from the new Matt Clark. What's good? Matt Clark here at the new Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Friday? Once again, I'm coming with video number two. I'm doing great. My girl's great. My family's great. I hope each and every one of you are great and have an amazing day. So, what are we going to speak on today? We're going to speak on the five worst places to do time in Ontario. Uh, before we did the five most dangerous places, this is different. This is the five worst. And I'm going to tell you why for each one. So, in the future, if you're somebody who's looking at doing time or planning on doing crime, before you do any of that, you think and you watch this video and you think about where you're going to be doing your time and if those are places that you really want to go. So with that being said, let's get right into the list. The fifth worst place to do time in Ontario, in my opinion, Joyceville Reception. And a lot of people won't understand this answer, and I'm saying this because I did time in Joyceville in 2006 when it was arguably the best place to do time. You know, time is never good to do. But in 2006, in Joyceville, you had about as much freedom and had about as much comfort as you could have in a higher security prison in this province. But reception is different. The food is now all slop. And believe me, it's horrible. Not to mention the milk is filled with a garden hose and is powdered. Nasty, nasty, nasty. It has like a greenish hue to it. It is not good. So, Joyceville, for that reason, is horrible. But also, it is the stage between the penitentiary and, pro and provincial, right? And a lot of people that are there are there for the first time. So they have not yet experienced real federal time. So it's this weird stage between federal and provincial where everybody kind of acts different. There's no real set of rules. It's kind of a free for all. There's lots of violence. There's lots of robberies. And there's a lots of BS. Okay. Not to mention that the guards act like they're tough. When in, back in the day they were soft, but now they act differently because it's reception and they feel like they can start over. So now they want to flex. There was always jackass guards in Joyceville that used to act like they were tough and want to flex. But now they all act that way. There's plenty of racism to go around. So the number five worst place to do time in Ontario, in my opinion, Joyceville reception. The number four. Worst place to do time in Ontario, in my opinion, the West Detention Center. It is no longer a detention center for normal correctional inmates. It is now an immigration facility. And I'm sure a lot of those guards have transferred out throughout Toronto and work in some of those other jails. But back in the day, the West Detention was crap. Why? Guards, guards, guards. Hostile guards that like to put their hands on inmates in situations where the inmates can't win. They're violent, they've killed inmates, and it's a fact. And they skate on it every time because they work for the government. That's just how that stuff works. Not to mention the squirrel squad. Picture this. You're sitting on your range, a couple guys might get a little bit of weed, they roll a joint... They're in the bathroom. Maybe a little bit of that smell goes out in the hall. All of a sudden, the doors fly open. There's an ice it team in there that's throwing you all up against the wall, searching you, taking your drugs, throwing you in segregation, street charging you, whatever it takes. Anytime you go through A&D in that place, it's like American prisons. The guards talk down to you. It's condescending. It's rude. And if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of self-confidence, it could be rough for you. And I've seen a lot of people try to lash out and get hurt very badly. There's a well-known cell in the back where people have taken beatings and beatings and beatings. 
I've seen guys walking down hallways, get slapped in their face by guards just for talking to other guys. It's a, it was a crazy place. I'm sure it's still that way to the guys in immigration. The West Detention also is a place that had a lot of gang politics, a lot of violence, and a lot of racial tension. And if you're an out-of-towner and you're of the white skin variety, then you better get ready because it's a tough place to do time and you will be tested, you will be tried, and if you are not true, you're gonna do some rough time. And that's why I say the number four worst place in Ontario to do time, the West Detention. For me, it was my bucket. It wasn't the worst place in the world because I knew a lot of people, but I saw a lot of people really do some bad time and some bad things happen to people that didn't deserve. Coming in at number three, the number three worst place to do time in Ontario, Maplehurst. And I guess this could go back and forth with number two, uh, but Maplehurst Correctional Center. This is a dirty jail. It's got a lot of gang politics. It's got a lot of violence, a lot of buck knives. Really hardcore guards that assault inmates have killed inmates there. And there was a story that I've even heard where a guy hung a prosthetic leg of somebody that they had killed in a and after they beat him to death. Really? This is a place that if they smell cigarette smoke, they will lock you down for the day. It's like any of the super jails. They're constantly on lockdown for shortage of staff. You're lucky to get out for three hours a day. There will be days and days and days where you'll be on shower program only. And if you're not part of the dogs on the range, you won't be getting out on shower program. So if you are somebody who plans on going in, plans on doing time, try your best to avoid Maplehurst. It is a dangerous place and it is not a fun place to do time. You will be locked in yourself for hours on hours and there's nothing you could really do about it because the servers and the cleaners are the ones who decide who comes out of their cell. And you can't really holler out from your cell except that the cleaners, you can try to roll on them and you're just going to get jumped. So keep that in mind. Also, horrible food. Everything is steamed. It's in trays. It's old. It's discolored. It smells bad. Sure, there's one or two of them that don't taste that bad. And as you do more and more time, they taste better and better. But it's horrible nutritionally. And honestly, Maplehurst is just a terrible place to do time. Uh, it's in Peel region, which is legendary for having some of the toughest courts, just like Newmarket. So that is why I select Maplehurst as the number three worst place to do time in Ontario. The number two worst place to do time in Ontario is the Toronto South. And why do I say this? Because there is direct and indirect, right? So there is a comfortable side if you can uh, manage to stay out of trouble, but that's pretty difficult if you're a person who has your own voice or opinion in the Toronto system. Anybody who's done time in Toronto will understand that it's a different breed of animal. You have every murderer, gangbanger, drug dealer, rapist, sometimes weirdo, all these people, some who come out as exactly who they are and some who are disguised, some who are trying to manipulate or extort. It's a dangerous place to do time, especially if you're from out of town or you haven't experienced that kind of time in the past and you happen to know zero people on the block. It can be a very uncomfortable situation. It's a very violent place to do time. There have been plenty of deaths. There have been plenty of overdoses. So it's very difficult to, get, to stay out of trouble, especially if you're somebody who has addiction issues. And also, if you're somebody who has addiction issues, not paying your debts could lead to very serious violence issues. Buck knives, crooked guards, just a tough place to do time if you're not from the city and you're not built with a certain kind of cloth. And that's just a reality. 
I would say it's probably the most dangerous place to do time in this province, if not Collins Bay Max. It would be there, but I think there even. Uh, and unless you're cut from that cloth, you should probably avoid doing any crime in the city of Toronto. I know if you're from Toronto, uh, you know, it's difficult to do that sometimes if you have no opportunity. But it's not worth putting your life in danger to make a few dollars, man. Go out and find a job. Put your feet to the pavement. Try your best. Start somewhere. Move out of town. Move with no money. Get away if that's what you have to do. But the Toronto South is not where you want to go. So that's why I say it's number two worst place on this list to do time. The number one worst place to do time in Ontario. It's not a dangerous place. It's not a place where you're not going to be comfortable. The food might even be great. Because I did a little bit of time there and the food was pretty good. I don't know how it would be now. Things have changed a lot in the province. Comfortable place to do time. Why do I put OCI? as the number one worst place to do time in this province. Chomos, Chomos, Chomos. Peer groups, listening to the most horrendous stories that you've ever heard in your life, wanting to, to cause physical harm to people. And I was court ordered to go there. They wanted me to get drug rehabilitation because I was getting out of control. And they figured at that time, I think, maybe by putting me in this easier environment, it might change because I was never a violent criminal. So maybe they thought maybe this would change me, but it didn't work. It made me kind of worse. I rebelled. I spent most of my time in SEG there. And why? Chomos, chomos, chomos. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. And not only that, all other kinds of weirdness goes on in this place. It is one place that you never, ever, 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 ever want to go do time. Never want to go visit. Never want to step foot in. It's a horrible place. And it tries to rehabilitate horrible people that I don't believe deserve it. And that is why, for me, OCI is the number one worst place in Ontario to do time. So, if you like this video which was for information purposes only. Obviously, we don't ever want anybody going to prison, and we would always recommend that you don't do that. But the reality in life is there's a lot of people that are in bad situations, whether it's financially, mentally, or whatever it is, and that's their reality at this point in time. And sometimes people aren't there when they reach out for help. That's why we're here. Uh, we hope that our words... Me, me, well, I hope that my words help you and try to motivate you from moving away from that life. It's a terrible life to live. Please, please, please step back. Give yourself some self-respect. Love yourself a little bit because you deserve it. It's not worth giving your life to the government and paying their salaries. That's not what you want to do, right? So please, if you like this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe and that bell notification button. Share with somebody on social media. Spread the message so this movement keeps growing because this movement is real. And there's a PayPal option if you would like to donate help and support the channel. Thank you for watching my videos. I'll get back to doing videos as soon as I can. We'll have a relationship and recovery video coming very soon. Love each and every one of you at the new Matt Clark.